Hey everyone, Mr. Mo here. Welcome to uh, session four of Club Project 2020. Um, now session four is really focused on uh, the uh, create section of the engineering design process. The previous sessions we've had one, two, and three were all about asking, imagining, and planning. Um, and now we're actually gonna get into uh, physically putting some things together or at least uh, laying out the parts list that we have to purchase or buy or have in front of us before we can actually put some things together. Okay. So, um, we're going to jump right into it because I, I want to uh, show you the actual robot, which I have over here, how it works. And then we'll go over the parts list together. So you can kind of see, uh, what, what things make up, uh, the, uh, the, uh, marble, we're, we're calling it the marble robot. Okay. So, Let's jump right into our PowerPoint. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to step through this pretty quickly and then we'll get to the uh, showcasing the, uh, the robot. OK, so again, I was saying this is session four, the create. OK, so remember, we stepped through our engineering design process and I'll have a quick slide there. But so for those of you who are new, I wanted to kind of just go over again what the whole purpose of this project was. If you joined us for the first session, this is where we announced that we're gonna build a, a DIY Sphero robot. And if you're not familiar with the Sphero robot, it's essentially what you see here, which is, um, one second, which is this um, uh, BB-8 robot, okay? Um, and then um, they've actually, uh, if you've seen the Sphero toy, this is what it looks like, okay? So um, you can produce the, these uh, actual an actual toy that you can buy, but our goal was to say, hey, how can we imagine and design and develop our own DIY Sphero robot with parts that we can buy so that we can understand how it all works together? And that's really what Club Project 2020 is all about. And again, here, if you forgot, this is what a robot is, a machine with a programmable brain that can move a physical body. And so it has to have all three of those things to really be considered a robot. So another refresher here. So this is the engineering design process, and this is what we're using as our guide as we go through actually imagining and, and, and wondering what will our robot look like. These steps here um, really have been our guide in this whole process. And so and as you can see, session four here, we're at the create. So when we're talking about creating, and this is when we build or make our first version, or another name for first version is a prototype, okay, of our design that meets the requirements that we asked about here in the first step, okay. Um, um, I actually uploaded a recorded video um, onto the site as well, so you can check that out where I go over some of the drawings or designs, 3D models of our robot, and then now we're going to actually uh, see the physical uh, creation that we've uh, come up with, okay. So again, here's what our 3D model looks like of our robot, okay? And we've again decided to call it Marble. And you know, I'm a big, big acronym guy. And so I was like, how can I turn Marble into some sort of a, um, you know, make this an acronym that made sense. And um, and I think just kind of playing around, and I'm not saying we're, this is what we're gonna call it, but making a robot, uh, making a robotic ball to learn engineering. <laughs> so if, you, if, uh, if we could turn marble into an acronym, that's what it would probably be, making a robotic ball to learn engineering. Um, and my wife always gets on me because I always want to turn everything into a, an acronym. But so here's our 3D model. As you can see, I have the, everything kind of uh, marked out or labeled here. This uh, is our plastic shell. It, it's clear so that we can see kind of what's happening on the inside. If we, and, and maybe we could find some that are more translucent with some colors. We could do that as well uh, in your design if you wanted to do that. Um, the brains of our marble robot is this called Microbit. It's a microcontroller. Um, it has some LEDs here on it. Um, and it allows you to really program it and, and do a whole bunch of things with it. And that's kind of why we chose it. It's small as well, so it'll fit into our robot. Um, and then uh, for the sake of simplicity, we went with a chassis or chassis is, is another name for like a frame. OK, so we went with a frame that was made out of Lego pieces. And the reason we chose this, because remember, as we're engineering this, we want to decide on like we want to make sure that our cost is reasonable, but then also that we can obtain or get these pieces relatively easily. 
Um, you know, if we wanted to do something a little bit more complex, we could have 3D printed this chassis, but not everybody has access to a 3D printer. And so we were like, hey, um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there you go. I'm, I apologize. You guys couldn't see there clearly. So um, let me get back to this. So um, instead of a 3D printed chassis, it was like, well, most people, most kids anyway, have Legos lying around the house. OK, and that's cool. And so it was like so we use some standard Lego pieces to actually create our chassis. And then again, we need uh, if it's running on electricity, we need some power. OK, and so that's where our batteries go right here. They actually fit in the middle of two Lego pieces. And then we have motors, two motors here, which turn our wheels. And then those wheels are like, they act like a hamster in a wheel, right? In a ball, okay? They turn against the inside wall of this uh, plastic shell and actually gets movement on our robot, okay? So that's kind of, this is the, the, the three-dimensional uh, model of what our robot looks like. And this is part of the plan stage, okay? And, and, um, and you'll see kind of how this compares to what we actually have in, phys in real life. Okay, um, but this is what it looks like laid out and everything is labeled here. Okay, um, so what what are our parts list? So I've gone ahead and put together a parts list that you'll need if you want to buy these parts and start to put, put your robot together. Um, I tried to, couldn't find everything on one site, so I had to use two different sites. Uh, and Adafruit, if you're not familiar with their electronics uh, engineering uh, parts company, they make like little robots and electronics and things. And they usually have things that are at a good price, okay? So uh, most of the parts you can get from Adafruit. And on the website I'll have, in the classroom, I'll have this linked to this wish list where you can just go there and add these things to the cart. Um, so what you would get, you would get the Lego brackets, and I'll show you that here. The brackets actually allow us to add our motors to the Lego frame, okay? So somebody has made these brackets, which you can buy. Um, you, you need two of those. Uh, we need a battery holder, which holds the uh, four AA batteries. Uh, you need one of those. We need two wheels. Uh, so we got two of those here. Uh, that's $5. And then we need two, two motors. Two, they're called TT motors. Um, and they have leads on them as well. So we need two of those um, right here. And then we need two micro bits, okay? So the micro bit is the brain of our robot. Um, so we need the micro bit. Um, we need two of them. So they're they're actually about $17 a piece, which is a really good price. Um, they come with the battery and the cord that you need for uploading your program. And so when all said and done, at least for, for what you can buy on Adafruit, is $50, $51, okay? So, um, and this is pretty much as cheap as you're gonna get for all of these parts and pieces. Now, when we go back through and try to make uh, a more improved version, maybe we can get some smaller pieces and uh, and maybe we'll, we'll change the cost. So this is what you can get from Adafruit. And again, this will be on the website in the dive deeper portion um, if you wanna go out and buy these parts. Um, and then the next spot that we got things from was Amazon, okay? So we need our plastic shell uh, which is a um, you know it's really just like a ball ornament if you've ever seen people make their own ornaments for Christmas or something or um, a bath bomb you would use like a mold like that and that's what we decided to use as our plastic shell and then we also need this thing right here it's called a, a motor driver uh, this is what our micro bit plugs into so that it can drive or move the motors that we have all right so that's $16 and you can get a, a, a plastic shell for about $2, okay? So now I didn't include costs for the Lego pieces in zip ties because typically people will have these pieces laying around. Um, and there, let's see, so you could see, but these, everything comes up for the Amazon for nine, for nine, at $19.14, okay? And these will fluctuate as the prices fluctuate on the website. And actually there's another piece here which I, I left out now that I'm looking at it. It's a 10 by six Lego flat. Okay, you need two of those. Okay, and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, revise this and put it back on the site. But total, if you wanted to buy all of these parts and pieces, uh, if you wanted to buy all these parts and pieces, 
uh, from Adafruit and Amazon, it would come up to $70.99 or thereabouts, okay? And that's without tax, all right? So um, pretty reasonable if you consider that if you buy this robot off the shelf, it's about $150. So we got it down to like a little bit less than half the price. And then you're, you get the benefit of actually being able to put it together yourself and learning all the things that are required. So, so in that respect, I think it's a bargain that you, you spend $70, learn all about how to put this robot together, how it works um, for just 70 bucks. So that's pretty cool in my mind. So. So as far as to dive deeper, so what's next? Okay, I, I'm giving you the parts, parts list. What do you do now? So if you're able to purchase the parts and build your own marble bot, okay? So I'm gonna add, and I still haven't decided 100% if we're gonna do live sessions or just if I'll just record it and, and post it. Um, but that'll be session five where I'm actually gonna step you through actually putting the robot together. So once you have the parts and pieces, you can follow along there. And then uh, the final session will be session six. And that's where we're actually going to program our micro bits. OK, so we got two different programs, one for the core or what goes on the, on the actual robot. And then another program for the remote control, uh, which is uh, the micro bit. OK, and then ultimately, once you're in the class, have fun and ask questions. OK, so if you run into any problems, if you're not able to, if I do upload these as videos and you won't be able to ask me questions uh directly but you can ask them within the class okay um using the commenting feature okay so so that's that okay so now let's get to um actually what does our robot do and look like okay so here's our robot okay and you can see it's pretty big but again this is the first version of our robot the prototype it has everything that we need in terms of the requirements that we laid out in session one it does all of that and then we have along with it our remote control which is another micro bit with the power uh supply here which is just some batteries okay and so i'll use this to actually control this and so i'm going to do a quick demonstration and then i'll start to open this up and take it apart a little bit so you can kind of see how it works all right so the first thing i have to do so i'll open this and i actually and that's something we'll work on as far as the next ses session um, the next iteration of the robot. So I put some some tack some uh, tacky putty in here, in between where the where the uh, ball the two halves come together, because I found that at, when it was driving around, the ball would come apart, and so to remedy that as a temporary solution, I just put some some tacky putty there. You can get that from the store if you want to use uh, masking tape or something similar. You could do that, but we'll we'll figure out a better way to do that for for the second session. So. Here you can see the robot kind of up close here. Here's the micro bit. Uh, here are the Lego pieces that we showed in the uh, in the 3D model, the wheels, the motors, and then we have our power supply. Now this is a little bit different than the one that I have in the parts list, but uh, the one in the parts list will actually go right here, okay? All right, it'll go actually in the center, okay? Okay, so I, I'll just kind of continue to go here. Um, so I, what I have to do is I'll, I'll turn it on because I have the battery pack right there and I'll set it back in here, okay? And so now that's, and then put the, the top back on. So this guy is ready to go. All right, now the way the, the remote works is it has an accelerometer on it, just like on your phone. So actually it drives when you tilt it forward, back, left or right, that's the direction it goes, which is pretty cool. So it's easy to learn to drive, okay? And then on, on the LEDs here, it actually creates an arrow that shows you which direction it's going. So when I point it forward, it'll have an arrow pointing in that direction. And then it does the same thing on the board on the, on the micro bit. So when I turn this on and start to drive, you'll see. So when I tilt it forward, it'll go forward, which is this direction. <laughs> so, and that's an, another thing we'll work on in version two is the stability of it in there. Cause when you stop, it kind of does that. So let's try it again. And then I'll, I'll come back, so. And then there's a button on here that stops everything, okay? 
So let's try it. I'll show you one more time. I'll tilt it forward. this going here and this kind of came off here so there we go and when you know I'm trying to drive it on the table which is a little difficult but when you put it there on the open floor it really goes pretty well there you go let's try that again time we'll go forward across the table here all right there we go <laughs> so I'll turn that off so that we don't but you get how it works right pretty pretty straightforward um, so this is version one this is our prototype okay uh, so let me let me take this out so we can start to take a look at some of the pieces. I'll set this over to the side. So again, here's our micro bit on the on the uh, core of our robot. Here, this, this one is actually red, and the one for our remote is blue. Yours may not be like that, but if you order two different ones, they may have different colors. Um, we've got our battery pack here on the bottom. Um, again, the design that we have listed on the site has a, a two by two arrangement. This is a one by four, so we we'll have to put it on the bottom. Um, we have our two motors, the yellow motors there, two wheels, and then you can see the chassis or the frame is uh, the little Lego pieces here, which allow us to kind of set this up on there and hold our, then we have our, our motor controller board right here. This actually is what powers our motors. Um, and then, um, let's see, we have some zip ties. Okay. So now zip ties are like, uh, uh, allow you to do some things because when I found out that the, uh, the Lego connectors on the motors, they don't fit the Lego blocks as well as I would like them. So to kind of compensate for that, I, I put these zip ties on there to kind of sandwich everything together, but it works and uh should be good to go for version one of our, our marble robot okay so um any questions for me because that's that's really the end of this session um really i want you to go out and, and if you can purchase those parts or have your teacher or your parent purchase those parts for you um so that then when you get them we can go through the video and put everything together program our micro bits and actually get you a working version of the marble robot okay yeah and so we will be posting this video later on onto the website into the class section so don't worry about it it'll be there for you to view okay so you can kind of see how everything goes together all right um but again if you're able to go into the dive deeper portion which i'll make live here in a second on the website It'll have everything listed for you. You can actually click on the picture of that um, parts list and it'll take you to the list and you can just buy it there if you want to do that online, uh, which is good during the times that we're in right now. It'll deliver everything to your home and then uh, you can uh, put everything together. So um, any questions for me about uh, marble and how we got to this part? Uh, again, uh, it was pretty fun putting that together. So I know when you get the parts and pieces at your home, you'll have a good time following along as we put it together. And if you run into any problems, again, I'll be there uh, to answer any questions for you that you may have, okay? So if you don't, if nobody has any questions for me today, um, I appreciate you for tuning in again. Uh, this one is a little bit shorter than we normally do, which is cool. Um, but most of the stuff that you'll be doing will be offline. So hopefully it shouldn't take you too long to get these parts and pieces. Um, and then we'll, but I'll post in the meantime, I will post those videos onto the website potentially so that you can follow along as we build and put everything together. So, um, well, thanks for tuning in again. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video.